All right. This one is just underway. A small group of 25. For a 3-0 blitz tournament, Sandwich is there. In round one, they're berserking. I will not be berserking back. I need all the time. All right, let's maintain my d4 point. Playing extra fast. And, yeah, I guess they're going to challenge me, huh? Let's drop back. I'm not sure if I'm really going to take the knight. Let's just go here, though, for a start. I may try to play against this pawn. May. In fact, let's try this. Let's uh, let's go for this variation with queen a3. All right, first things first. We're going to take like this, I think, is best. Okay, so this I could still do that move. Hmm. Well, I could go two. Let's consider... Trying to play against their bishop. If I control these two pawn breaks, the bishop doesn't see my side of the board. Could go b3 or b4. Let's go b4. Maybe circle into c5. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get out of the line of fire. I don't have to worry about this now. I could castle kingside. Let's just support this. Let's take towards the center. Let's castle. A files open. The rooks need to play. Next up, knight e5. I thought at least. Let's get the knight on c5. Playing very fast. They're offering a draw. I'm going to decline. I don't want to draw. Good knight versus bad bishop, sort of. I have control over these two. I'm not sure which square is best. Hmm. What I would be welcome to is a queen exchange. Yeah, maybe queen here, knight c5. Yeah, why not? Let's jump in there. Not sure what the bishop's up to, to be honest. He's uh, struggling to find a productive role. Okay, so this, this should be an excellent ending. Let's not allow d4 so easily. Let's play here first. Okay, I'll, I'll come back over with d4. We're offering a draw again. Probably won't be the last one either. Um, let's go to, I would want to do this and then here, but they go into this square real quick. So let, let's shut down the bishop first. Now let's do this. If rook here, okay, let's stop their plan. Okay. Let's take, let's take, and throw a rook on the seventh. Let's give a check. Get my other rook on the seventh. Hmm, let's go here. Let's not trade too much. And let's hang on to that pawn. If I can. Yeah, I probably can't. Let's track that pawn down. All right. Feel like I just have to uh, time burn this player.
Yeah. Okay, well, objectively, uh, that was a drawn endgame, but uh, they didn't have enough time at the end. I'll take it. They were a very draw-happy player. You come across those from time to time. they super excited about draw, draw, draw stuff. So we got two. 32 are in this. Sack of Sasquatch has two games in already, berserking the first two. Who did he play? Wow. Alrighty. That's a fast six points. Let's see what we get in uh, round two. Okay, Chris Brown. Let's try you four. Carol Khan, huh? Let's try two nights, I guess. All right. Bishop Hare for me? Yes. So how do we treat this position? Okay, so closing shop in the center. Um, okay, I'm going to recycle my knight to d2. I'll get my bishop out first in the d3. Yep, so this is the structure I'll be playing with. And f4 is what I'll be looking for. Maybe maybe a quick queen e2 and then f4. Yeah, let's let's do yeah, let's do this right now. I may want to hold off on knight here because on f4 takes, I think this is the most convenient uh, recapture. I'm just going to go one step. If I go two, then this this is a square that the knight could camp out on. Let's go all the way back. I don't want to invite this uh, pawn to move forward with an attack. Let's castle. I have more support. Will they play this? No. Okay, so they could get the bishops. You know, they could get rid of the bishop pair, trump, but still have the light square bishop. This is something interesting. Mm, I want to make sure the position's opened up. Don't want too many instances of fixed pawns when playing with the bishop pair. So we'll go about it like this. The knight on f3. If I take, I think I'll take with the rook. So I have a spot for my other rook to get to f1 and double. I'm going to take all my pieces into account. So they're thinking some for much the first time. Um, I think the way forward is to take, move forward with the rook, hit the bishop. There may be some sacrifices against h6. Um, and actually with this last move I should have considered more of this move. In fact, let's try it now. I would love to see that. This is excellent now for me. Um, let me just be assured there's no fancy stuff with b3. I think this is a moment where I could, I have a lot of time to do whatever I want. So let's get my bishop here. Yeah, there's nothing fancy happening around here. That's just a check. I throw my king in the corner. And soon, I think the pressure against f7 is, it sure does seem it's, like it's close to unbearable. So here we go. A lot of pressure. Can't really ask too much more of my rook. Let's just stop any b3 move. Completely static queenside structure. And I think I could get away with launching my g and h pawns. My queen will cover these squares. A queen on g2. Um, Actually... Yeah, let's go here first. I'm trying to get rid of my bishop. Let's hang on to him. He may go here at a later time. This knight, the greatest piece. I, I probably should have tripled up on f7. I should, probably should have put it, you know, to a point where the knight couldn't move, and if he did, I would crash through on f7. 
Okay, this uh, rook is unprotected. Hmm. Let's improve my queen. Oh, let's take. And I guess we're going to take with the queen. Stay doubled here. I want uh, queen f8 and rook here. Let's improve the king first. Okay, now let's get the bishop playing. They were on a little bit of a standoff there. I could have also given a check first. I'm threatening a mate in two right now. Yeah, he probably has to return, huh? Um, let's go back for a second. If the knight goes back here, I have a queen there. Let's just do this. Yeah. Okay, I don't like having to do this. Not at all. I want my king here. I dropped that pawn. I'm on the rook. <laughs> I'm on the rook. Oh, uh, I had the rook. I can have a rook exchange. Hmm. Now I have this. Oh, they took with the rook. Okay. Could enter with my king now. And he's under control. I probably just pre-move the push. Opponent resigned. Yeah, I had a free rook there for a second in that uh, bullet mode position. All right. We got two games in there. We have some fire. 37 are in this now. Uh, Sack of Sasquatch now has 10, and he is in a game. Let's see what we get in round... Three. Alf Void. Okay, let's try Knight F6. And how about G6? I play maybe the Nimzo Indian and Bogo Indian too much. Let's try to get a blend. I'm a fan of this positional line. This is a dark square strategy I'm employing right now. Let's go immediately with E5. The threat here is to take and then quickly jump in there, so I'm doing this to secure c5. This kind of stuff. Let's castle first. Now I'll take. Sometimes I would just voluntarily capture, but I certainly do not mind being provoked and then doing this. So, there's that move. I think I need to get on with kingside play. Take with the pawn. These guys are controlling a lot of squares. Interesting bishop move. I think that sort of backfires. He has to go back here. No, actually he's not threatened. I'm threatening this pawn. I don't know, it's just, it feels like a bit of an, a, a nice active move. I don't think she could be chased away so easily, so let's just get there. I'm not sure what I want to do. Here, here, both are interesting. This is with tempo. This one takes more into account the light square bishop and uh, a nice blend of control over both color complexes. Ties in well with this guy. Um... King h8, rook g8, a bit on the slow side, but maybe not bad. Also, this gives up that square, so I'm more inclined to go with e4 than f4, I believe, in this position. But maybe I go with none of the above. How about knight here into e4? What about this? A dar offering a dark square bishop exchange. You know what? I think I like that idea. Yeah, they have the bishop pair, so I think I, I'm successful 
Um, I think I, I, I gained just a little bit. So now it's two knights versus a knight and bishop. This isn't a bother. I have c7 covered. What I would really like is to be able to get a4 in and clamp down on the b4 advance. And actually, this is now my moment to do that, because on b4 I get to take, take, and then take the rook. Actually, after this, captures, captures the queen from that one position is then overloaded, having to watch over both bishop and rook. So now I have a serious positional threat, but they're still ready. They'll just uh, crash through here. Hmm. Okay, well, could I still do that? Minute 20. Could uh, sack a pawn or something. Knight f6, b4, and then run over here. Ah, that's a good move. Bishop c2 is a good move. I'm going to go with e4 to control both uh, the bishop, to not, not give up this square with f4. And on this, I don't want the, I don't think I want the a file to open up. On b4, I'm prepared to go back to a5. On pawn takes, I'm fine with gambiting a pawn because I just want the c5 square for my knight. If any of these pieces leave from control over a4, I'll play a4 and lock down on uh, this structure. And this, uh, I'll, I'll, if I get a4 in, I'm securing my, my pieces on the c5 square. They're also under 50 seconds. So take some care over my dark squares if I go in the corner. Queen here. I did grab a little bit of space. I think this is now my moment to get this in. So I could rely upon this knight now. And this just feels like a nice active move. Um, yeah, let's let's improve my queen. I don't want to get in my pawn's way. I might want to push him. Are they thinking about this? I'll be fine with a queen exchange. Okay. I guess that's what we're going for. And I should probably get my king playing right away. 35 seconds. My king. I could do this kind of stuff as well. Target b2. Um, let me first reinforce my furthest advanced pawn. In case he's struck out. And maybe improve my king just a hair. I am within striking, you know. Knight can now strike at me, but I could take here, and my king, believe it or not, can now fork the knight and pawn. Yeah, and they just dropped a piece in time pressure. Um, I'm pretty sure that their rating has yet to catch up with their actual strength. They played much better than their rating. Still has a question mark, so... Probably... Just not uh, accurate just yet. And they don't have any time left. Good game. Yeah, you won't see their, uh, their rating at that point for uh, too much longer. Okay, I am at 8. Uh, we got 20 in first. Sack of Sasquatch is on a tear. Five games in already. A Lance 5500 YouTube. Now there's a Lance just 5500. And now a Lance 5500 YouTube. Same person? I don't know what the story is. Is this Lance the marathon machine guy? Let's try for this. Let's see what Lance comes up with. Do we go Bishop here? Yeah, I think bishop f5. On bishop g4, there's a quick h3. Mm, let's just back up. So, at any point, I could kick this knight away if they try to get an e4. Let's get an e6. I can't do without that. Bishop here. Knight here. Let's go with the knight here. Not sure where my bishop belongs just yet. Let's just put pressure on the knight. Maybe... It's good to induce this. I'm not quite sure. 
Okay, takes. Yeah, I'll take and then go here. And you know what? I would really like to force this bishop takes bishop move. Let's get here first, though. I'm anticipating some pressure. Okay, so I'll take here. And I guess we go with Kingside Castle very soon. Um, or do, no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe I take here. Yeah, let's let's exchange light square bishops, and now save this guy. Okay, castles can't do without that. Where to go with the queen? Yeah, I'm going to struggle some. They're going to get control over this only open file. Um, I guess here, anticipating this move. Okay, I think I need to run it like this, and then scoot my king over very, very fast. He needs to help out. And I don't think there's any other good square for the queen. I'll take with the knight, I think. Okay, well, if they're going to do it like that, now we take. And... Scoot over again. Okay, now I have this move, and my king might actually run the entire mile here, let's say. Boom, 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 keep going. Flush the rook away. In the end, I have a better bishop, so that's what I'm really looking forward to long term. Good knight versus bad bishop, or good versus bad bishop. Let's stop knight here. And now slowly improve my king. King on c6. They're also down on time. I don't know. Improve the knight. Um, let's improve the pawns. Maybe knight here. Knight's very active now. Am I winning a pawn? Good challenge that knight. Let's go here. They should be winning now. Didn't see that they have that, but am I not getting some pawns here? Yeah, they're down on time. Take another pawn. Now I could have a passed H pawn. Let's put the bishop on this diagonal. Anticipating their passed pawn. I think I need some dark square control. Maybe not. One of them was going to be a liability. Let's keep going with the pawns. Good take here. Go here, flush the king back. I have a huge wall of pawns. Let's take like that. Scoop this pawn up. A giant wall of pawns now. And we could just convert this. No issue. No stalemates. No stalemates. And they're down on time. Okay. That's round four. We got 12 with fire. Sack of Sasquatch. Six games in. Wow. He's moving fast. Close to the halfway point. Uh, let's try a b3. Bishop to b2. e3. That move. Okay, let's start with c4. I might try some fancy stuff with h3 and g4. Some uh, type of gambit play. Let's start... Mm, let's not get too ahead of myself. No, you know, I, I should just go into normal waters uh, and play against this pawn. Or not this pawn, but this square. e5, very weakened. Pointing my pieces here. Uh, queen c2, d4. 
Let's go with D4. So, a bit of a, a stonewall Dutch. Let's put the bishop on E2. Castle, I may invest another move just to get the dark square bishops off. They could stop it with bishop to E7. Okay, let's let's go for this. This is directed at one day establishing a knight on e5. Uh, this is another position type where I'm trying to play against one of the black minor pieces. Uh, namely, this guy. I don't want him to trade off for any of my pieces. If I move my knight to b1 it's before queen c2, there was knight here. So let's get this in. I'm headed for the e5 square with both knights. Let's, um... Hmm. I may have to allow the light square bishop exchange. This is a... this is maybe getting a bit annoying. Let's jump in the center first. I could have maybe done this before knight c3, so I could play knight e5, kick the knight away, and then played knight c3. They're kind of stepping on one another's toes. Like, even right now, I feel like a knight b1 move is available. Okay, it looks really odd, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to kick this knight away, and this is a bit questionable because I'm underdeveloping where my opponent is already completely developed. But I'm, uh, I'm looking for an f3 move and then knight d2 or knight back to c3 even. Let's take with the pawn. Play with c5. Maybe. This is something a computer would do. To really put into question this backward up move. Okay. A backward up. Backing up move. So let's let's follow through here. This was the idea. F4. Or excuse me, F3. Maybe F4 next. Let's go knight here. And C5, knight B5. Hmm. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I'm welcome to a queen exchange, actually. If this exchange happens, these pawns are split. Of course, my pawns are split, but this bishop isn't such a happy piece. And these knights are a bit clumsy because I take away the e4 square, so I'm going to take with the queen. If, the, if my structure is going to be split, I want to at least have the queens off. My king should be pretty good on f2. I would anticipate a valuable tempo against the bishop going to this open file. I'm also under a minute. Challenging my knight straight away. I don't want that exchange. This knight is pretty good here. Or is he? Okay. Dropping that pawn, maybe. Okay, how do I punish that? Is it punishable? Right here, maybe I pick up the pawn. Did not see that. Let's take this time out to improve the king. I should be able to get this pawn back. Maybe I could have gone straight in for it. Uh, I have a better king position, but I'm still down a pawn. I'll have a good square in c4 to stop entry points by both rooks. And let's go, I guess, with this rook. Maybe it's uh, good to keep this pawn defended in some lines. I could take right away, but let's... Uh, I want to just kind of build up the pressure. Stay out of this move with tempo. That's why I didn't go to c3. I feel like he'll drop at any point. I want to, I want to do it when, when I want. Maybe in the end I take with the knight and then threaten knight e7 with check. Evening out on time, I'm ready to finally grab that pawn back. Yeah, it's already a pretty serious threat, so maybe kick this knight away first. I think so. Is he going to really jump in here? Let's kick him away. Careful. Knight here. Could have maybe captured there as well. On this pawn... Tricky knights everywhere. This knight goes too far. I have this. Rook exchange. 
Very close on the clock. Got that covered. I want this square for my king. It's a pass pawn. Come on, king. Can I double up? My king fast enough? We're going to find out. Wow. Oh, he got that one in the end on time. They promoted with check. And with my last pre move, if there was more time, they were going to get my queen with the skewer. Oh, wow. They turned on the Jets with that one. At the end. Lucky to get that one. 16 with fire. This guy is not leaving from podium position number one. <laughs> 28. Lance is at 22. And Jaya is in there third. Does not have fire. Okay, he just slipped up. Will I get... Okay, so they were paired. Lance berserked him in one. So I'll probably get Sack of Sasquatch. Or would I get Lance again? I don't know. We're going to find out. Lance again. All right. Let's maybe try a different opening. Oh, that, huh? All right, let's try d5. And just e6. And let's go a6. Going to take and we go into an exchange French. That move, huh? Let's close it up. Let's get this in. Knight c6, e5. Hmm. That's certainly different. Let's just develop, bring a knight out. Wow. Let's go here. Really? You're allowing knight takes bishop. Impressive, man. With check. Holy cow. Let's take with the rook, keep this file open. Okay, there's no queen check here. I got that covered. What are they doing to combat this? This long term, I mean, isn't that an issue? If I go here, there's a knight move and then a fork. Let's just... They're going to go queen here. Maybe we offer a queen exchange. And we'll just go one step. Oh, man. Now they're threatening this? Let's go queen here. Hitting the knight. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Knight takes pawn is another idea. Hmm. Alright, let's try this. Still might be that move. Knight takes will take with the queen. Get my queen to a defended square. They're still just going in for that. Very odd play. I haven't seen... The so odd. Seems to be working out, though. Can I not take the knight now? Don't understand. I'm not in this uh, pin anymore. Oh. 
Upper Queen Exchange. They will definitely decline that. All right, they're going to play bishop there. I give that up. I have excellent coordination. My bishop on c6 is fantastic. Put the bishop here right now. Bishop here is a threat. Let's get coordination. Um, rook here, I guess. I want to see some pawn move. Okay, now I can really glue all my pieces in. Okay. Perfect coordination. I can mop up everything. 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 Just stay coordinated. That's with check. Everything's going to fall. No stalemates. No perpetuals. Go here. They're setting up some perpetuals. No stalemates. Huh. <laughs> They're down on time. I think there was some fancy uh, stalemate trick that White had there in the end. With the king creeping over there, that was the intention. Very odd opening play. Really weird. Having all these like little tactical tricks. Man. Okay, we got 20 with fire. 28 is in first still. Um, this guy has fire as well, John. He's got two, uh, two points more than me. 49 players in this one. Uh, let's see. Less than 18 minutes left. So, a few more games. John is paired against uh, Sack of Sasquatch. Aleph Void again. Alright, so I have the white side. Let's try Knight D2. Can I get a quick E4 in there? I can. They didn't challenge me. Let's put the bishop... Let's, let's get F4 in. I might try for a quick uh, E5. They might try to... Get, okay, so they're stopping that altogether. Let's get the knight out. So this was probably a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, almost certainly a bad idea. Maybe we pick him up, though. Maybe. Let's castle. They could hunt a light square bishop. I want to move the knight and pick this guy up, but they're going to make me fight for that, I imagine. Maybe we sneak out here. Let's ask him a question. Can you give me the bishop? That would be really nice. Let's play here. G5? I could just take. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, all right, let's take. I don't have anything fancy here. There's always bishop g6. I did not expect that move. Why can I not just take on f4? Because I have this covered. I was expecting knight takes and defending f4. So this queen will probably be some tempo against the queen. I have pressure against the bishop. He is defended. I have pressure against c7. That's not a fun move for them to play. Let's start with queen here. No, the bishop will move, and then there's this. 
Maybe this move is best then. Knight e3 into f5. I think my knight's a pretty great pain. Team black. Yeah, I, I think we can expect bishop g6 at some stage. So maybe let's uh, hunt the dark square bishop and I will get him. He's all mine. Let's take him. And I just damaged their structure as well. Now I will go here because I'm pointing here. This isn't so much a threat because of bishop g6. Okay. And, but what about this move? That should be pretty, a pretty annoying pin. In fact, I might just, no, actually on h6 I can take. But even if there wasn't a pin, I think I'm prepared to sacrifice on h6 g5. Okay, so let's actually jump in. Takes, I take with the pawn. This is a really uncomfortable pin. Now I should be winning. Queen b6 is your way out. I didn't see that. Hmm. Or is it your way out? I have bishop here to block. Queen b6, bishop e3. Big problem now. h6 I could just take. Now I could just take here. Still, on a queen check, I block. I just won a piece. I'm on the queen. And we block. And then take here next. Queen takes pawn. Queen bishop takes here. I'm on f7. Rook takes pawn here. Maybe I'm not threatening this, actually. The bishop's there to defend. All right. If I go here, there's a queen check. Let's take another pawn. Why not? Yeah. Oh, I could have I could have played here as well. I don't know here. Um. Let's just offer a queen exchange and maintain control over this diagonal. I just want a secure square for my light square bishop. Like, I want to get this in, a bishop on b3. I have coordination everywhere else. Ten seconds up on the clock. So now I get this move in, bishop to b3, and everything is coordinated. I don't care about dropping my e-pawn. I should be able to take advantage of that somehow. like this. Rook here. I don't have this. I guess I could take and then take here, get two rooks. Okay. They don't have any time. Just won that rook. They uh, made it a little bit too easy on me. Um, I was able to scoop up that f-pawn. I really dodged a bullet in that opening. I, with the knight on d2 and playing uh, f4, trying to get an e5, the reaction with e5 was excellent. So I should do without that f4 move for sure. If I could be assured I'm getting an e5, it's a different story, but... If I'm playing f4 and they're able to reply with e5 and I have my knight stuck on d2 like that, I should shy away from that setup. Not a good, not a good setup there. Right around the 10 minute mark, 50 players in. Lance is in a game that is ongoing. Yeah. Uh, actually, he's ready to win. And he just won. And we may get paired up for a third time? Maybe. He just finished. I'm at 24. He's at 33. Let us see. He's probably been on a 100% berserk rate. 
Yep, and we got him again. All right, so first time with Team White. Let us see what to do. All right, let's put immediate pressure on that pawn. And let's see what Lance does there. Okay, we're going to go with c5. Bishop d3. Wasn't knight h5 necessary? Because now I get to maintain my bishop controlling this square. Okay, I don't know if that's correct. Because can I not play this right now? Let's shoot for this this play in the center. So what I'm going to key in on is d6. I, there's a, It's a big trade-off here. I have a little bit of queen side space. I give up d5, but I could focus on d6. That's what I'm gunning for right now. I want to trade dark square bishops and plant a knight on d6. Can I manage that? I think so. Trade and jump in. I guess he will be challenged soon, but I don't have to trade him off. This is a pretty reliable home for my knight. Protection here. Going to try to undermine this point. Bishop here is the idea, I guess. I shouldn't think about supporting it with b4. I think I need to get on with some other stuff now. Maybe take this knight. Play knight here. Or what about knight here right now? I don't want... I'm trying to play against their light square bishop, so I don't want him to trade himself off or anything. Right now I'm striking at c6. This could come pretty fast. Okay. Um, let's start with rook here. Maybe I take and take here in some lines. You have to be careful about pawn grabs. You can't do this. I could return here and think about d6. Let's go here first. Activate another piece. Let's go here. I have d6. Let's go back. They're well aware of that little trick. Let's try b4. This is a square I'll just drop back, I think. Let's preserve him. b4, I have this. I have my major pieces on good squares. Well, let's go back here. Now they're not too quick to uh, challenge. This knight needs to... Now, actually, I get to jump in here Ah, uh, they get to trade the light square bishop. Okay, but a little bit of calculation here. A little bit of calculation. I take here, they take there. I'm going to play it much simpler. I don't want to have to calculate. Be a bit more practical here. I should still have an advantage. Queenside play. Take my knight. Anchor him in there. Um, let's go here. They're going to continue to try and chip away at that knight. Let's start to restrict this knight. They might cash out and give up the exchange. I'm expecting that. Um, I'm going to need some more support over d4. Avoid the exchange once more. Improve the king. Now I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to be losing a pawn now. Okay. I'm in a very uncomfortable pin. Can I untangle? Maybe I'm getting that guy back. Ooh. Did not see that move. I am losing now. They missed mate. They needed a flight square. I was busted in that final position. They just needed to uh, create a flight square and then do the that uh, rook b3 move and I was a goner. And I think they would have managed even though they were under 10 seconds. Because they had an outside pass pawn, they could have just cashed out and gave the material back. And I was a goner. Five minutes left. I'm at 28 with fire. Mm. 
maybe this is a Berserk game to try and at least tie. He'll probably get in one more game anyhow. But uh, maybe this last one is worthwhile of a Berserk to at least try for something. Let's see. Try to get up to 33 at least. John is perfect. All right. Let's Berserk Mr. Berserk 100. Oh. <laughs> Someone who did a quick resign. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know about that. A quick resigner. So now I actually have a chance to win. Berserking this last game would give me 5 and 37. Okay, we got to go super fast. Let's try knight f6. So this is a player who uh, is perfect so far. Could take here and then here and now probably challenge this knight right away. Um, let's challenge this guy. Okay, this is a very, very good ending. I get to play against these two guys. I have a nice light square blockade. This is an excellent position. Rook here, rook here, just pile up on this point. Right there. Queen trade would be nice. I could take this pawn, but then they get the b7 pawn. Could always defend any pressure over here with bishop f8, maybe bishop f6 first. So what are you doing about this point? Let's get my bishop on a pretty secure square. Um, I guess we'll take and have them try and work to get that pawn back. I have rook c4 supported pretty well with queen and rook. Could do this. I could defend my back rank with queen c8 in the end. Rook takes, rook takes, queen a8, rook, queen c8, I defend a6 even. This is a pass pawn. I'm going to have a queen exchange. The queen has to go back here. a7 is weird. Okay. And now my bishop can actually help out to support this. I want my king, like, right here, right now. Threatening this. Pawn takes and then mate. Um, let's improve the king. I'm up a pawn. It's not the most healthy of pawns, but... Can I do a bishop exchange? I think I'm going to go for that. Down a minute. I want my rook on a5 in this ending. A rook-specific ending. Rook on a5 and push the pawn away. Outside pass pawn. 125 left. Oh, they could always known to fry me as well. I didn't go fast enough. Let's improve the king. Now I could at least get here with check. Do I have time for this? Ah, uh, it's going to be close. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I could end up with two um, split pawns that are better than two connected pass pawns. Let's try this. Do a push. Oh, rook here. I should have done that even the last move. Okay, now this is winning. Would they resign in this uh, in this position? Just have to watch out for any sneaky pawn moves. They resigned. They were nice enough to resign there. They could have known to fried me there, but they gave me the win. 39-37, second place in the end. 
50 players in all. Okay, Lance took it home. 100% berserk rate. 39, 37, 35, 31. Alright, let's see page 2. 3, 4, and 5. That's everybody. Alrighty. To the 49 of you. Good games, all. Okay.